So, so for people that think that the masturbation isn't wrong, you know, if you can do it without lusting, give me a call. My story starts with, um, man, at a young age, just with um, being over at my neighbor's house, who we lived old, lived next door to pretty much my entire life. <clears throat> Probably about 12, 13 years old, I stumbled upon a stash of Playboys that his dad had, and um, probably like a lot of guys, started off in the, I guess their their addiction with porn, their struggle with porn. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just saw opened up man my first first page of my playboy and and that image is man stuck with me since that time and it's probably 12 13 years old like I said probably around six six seventh grade and um, man I'd, I I just go over there a lot and uh, which I was already over there a lot and it just became kind of a habitual thing that I would just that's what we did that's what we would go after when we were over there and and then we found out that he had a big stash of just kind of old ones or whatever that you know weren't new anymore and just kind of threw them up in the attic and so I stashed up and took a bunch home with me and <clears throat> put them up in my closet and you know start starts from there habitual daily thing you know like it was it wasn't about what am I gonna do today it's that was what I was gonna do that day you know like that was that was always the definite thing is uh I was always gonna check those out and whenever those got old you know then I, I got curious you know I got I got uh, what else can I do what can what can I do to feed to, to feed this this hunger for for the for these images and this and this feeling that it gave me and at the time I didn't know that the feeling was wrong. I, I, I thought it feels good. It looks good. What what could be the problem? Um, why why could this be a bad thing? Like what that didn't make sense to me at the time. And um, so I just kept on kept on looking for different ways and different ways to to feed this what I, I get, what now looking back I would call a monster. You know, like the beginning of a monster. And um, and you know found the internet like I guess most kids. Uh, kids do and, and just turn to the internet and, and it's one click away you know and, and it's you know starting at starting age 12 13 like daily 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 different different websites and just clicking and clicking and clicking my life away It kind of made sense to me that that it couldn't be bad because it's protecting. It's it's keeping me from getting some girl pregnant. It's keeping me from getting all the emotions that come involved when whenever whenever you have sex with a girl or or you know just all the different crap that comes with um, sex outside of marriage. And you know, and for a long time, that's what I credit myself being able to stay a virgin. You know, like I'm like oh, I'm 20 years old and I'm a virgin. Like what? What uh, what could be wrong with that? Like, isn't God happy with that? But then, but then I I thought, what, why, why after the the act of masturbation, why do I feel like crap? Why do I, why do sometimes I just lay awake at night and feel like, what am I doing? Like, why why do I feel like this? Why why is such uh, why is something that I don't think is wrong making me feel so bad? Like that didn't make sense to me. And then all of a sudden, it hit me like, man, all sin is equal. All things are equal in lust. Lust is a sin, like it's plain, plain and simple, right there in the, right there in the Bible, you know, and and that's that's what it was. Like it's it's nothing but lust. You're being selfish. You're you're gratifying yourself, and and that's the whole point is to to get off, like to, to and that you can't do that without lust. Mm -hmm. 
to be a minute by minute, hour by hour struggle, and now it's become something that I can open up my day with prayer and say, look God, like it's me and you, and uh, I'm not gonna cheat you today. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you down today. Yeah. And um, man, just having God in my life and having accountability partners and good friends backing me up, man, like it's become, it's become a lot more in the back of my mind than in the forefront, you know? My name is Jordy and I'm 20 years old. 